Hi, I am Boy from Baiko. This is Lana. This is Roberto from Celereal, and we're going to talk about Celereal. Hello and welcome. Hello, thank you. Thank you, Boy. So, so nice to have you here. We've seen each other in, uh, in China and any big changes since then? It's only two months, but you never know. I go. Um, well, uh, any big changes in terms of product, you mean? or? Yeah, or... Of course, we are working on uh, big, big projects for next year, so uh, we have a lot of novelties, not only in terms of product, but also in terms of uh, marketing initiatives, uh, uh, projects that will involve also our consumers. Mm -hmm. So we are in the phase of really working hard in order to prepare everything for the year that is coming. Working hard, that's always a good answer. Yeah. I mean, we, we closed a very good year, mm -hmm. so and now we are starting to plan all the activities for the next future. Thanks, thanks for that. What I really like, and you said it, a uh, social media campaign, uh, connecting with the consumers, is you have a, you have a blog, and um, I started reading it, and what I really like is, is the tips you sometimes give, especially for the writing of the summertime. Um, I should have read that earlier, because uh, when it the weather was getting good, uh, I was starting getting uh, on my bike again and um, it was like 28 degrees even in the Netherlands that can happen and I was riding without any sunscreen so <laughs> you can imagine after two hours I was like super red I don't get brown I get red like lobster and then I read your article and I thought shit I should have read it earlier um, First question, are you riders yourself? Do you, do you ride bikes, do you road cycle, or what kind of riders are you? In my case, mainly just city bikes mm -hmm. and sometimes mountain bike. Mm -hmm. you know, we are lucky in, in this industry and especially in a cellular group company. Mm -hmm. We are um, in Vicenza, in Pozzolone, and it's really a nice environment. So during lunchtime or after work in the dinner, we are, during the evening, we are having some ride around the, that landscape. It's very nice, but mainly due to the fact we are focusing on cellular brand, mm -hmm. I use a lot of my city bikes to go in the city of Padua. Where mm -hmm. I live. Mm -hmm. And you are you a rider? I sometimes ride, mm -hmm. uh, not that often actually, but I'm very involved in uh, with sports in general. Mm -hmm. So uh, for sure, I've joined the company one year ago, so it's a must for for the next uh, <laughs> month She's to get more <laughs> more involved with the bike. <laughs> yeah, you should if you work for a bike company. <laughs> but where do you get your inspiration from for the blogs and, and the social media campaigns? What, how do you get these topics? Mm. Well, the nice thing about Saddle Royal is that uh, um, it's not uh, only about saddles, mm -hmm. but it's about bike culture in general. Uh, we are approaching consumers, as I am, for example, that uh, are not uh, so fond of uh, uh, performance uh, cycling, mm -hmm. uh, which means uh, we want to support cyclists. This is the, uh, the claim of our brand, which means uh, giving them tips, but also uh, useful information, curiosities about uh, um, the bike experience uh, uh, in general. So we are always trying to imagine what can be useful for them uh, according to the season, according to the initiatives that are around uh, in that period, uh, little problems that cyclists might have. Um, and uh, we want to be promoter as a brand to um, improve their experience on their bikes. So uh, that's uh, how we, we get inspiration. And in what way does the social media uh, help you engage with uh, your audience and your consumer and target market? Well, uh, so this is uh, very helpful in terms of uh, brand awareness. So um, talking uh, about topics that are not merely um, connected to product promotion mm -hmm. helps uh, our consumers to get closer to our brand, uh, to get familiar with it. Mm -hmm. and to love it uh, beyond uh, the, 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 the mere product. Of course, then they understand that the quality that we put in the contents that we publish um, is the same that we put in the uh, product development and in the uh, comfort experience that we give uh, through our saddles. So it's actually what you're, what you're saying is that 
um, the whole range from from development design to to the end user is is should be one be complete qualitative experience definitely and it's uh, this uh, claim support cyclists mm -hmm. uh, start from the saddle which physically support cyclists mm -hmm. but also goes uh, to uh, services and then experience the uh, stories so it's a flow that really goes through all the activities that we do mm -hmm. uh, from uh, product development to the uh, final go to market it even got you winning a red dot award i believe congratulations for thank that you. thank you thank you special and i wonder i always wonder when uh, when people winning awards it's, it's not nothing you know it's, it's something special but why is the red dot in particular such a special prize because i see every even when they won a prize in like 2008 it's still on their website, won a Red Dot Award in 2008. Mm -hmm. Why is it so special? Why are people bragging about it so much? Well, I have to say that the Red Dot was one of the prizes we won with this on because we also won the Design and Innovation Award and also the IF Award. It's a very so good product. We're, the... we're getting to that later. <laughs> So the three of them, uh, of course, uh, are really helpful to recognize uh, not only uh, the design of the product, which with its own uh, is uh, uh, very peculiar and outstanding, um, but also the functionality, the thing that the product is uh, unique in the industry that mm -hmm. has been carried uh, uh, on with a study behind uh, research. Uh, and something that uh, really matches the design and functionality, which is very important because uh, also in the uh, in the saddle industry, aesthetic uh, counts. Mm -mm. Yeah, let's get into to that the process of making this because yeah, Saddle Real is, is is not only a saddle brand, it's also a storytellers, as you just told me. And I think behind this beautiful product here is a whole story. So, could you tell me? about the process of, of developing, designing and... Yeah, let's say, I think that the, the, the price uh, that we receive uh, regarding the Red Dot, mm -hmm. uh, at the end of the day for us count really few in comparison with the satisfaction of our customer. Mm -hmm. Because uh, when, when we started the process, mainly is starting from the consumer. So as Lara said, uh, we are starting from analyzing the end consumer that are using the bicycle. And in this case, what we have done is uh, when the trend of e-bike becomes really huge in starting from Germany but as well in other Europe mm -hmm. and especially in, uh, in the recreational market, so in the urban area, then now of course there is also the e-mountain bike and mm -hmm. the more sportive approach. But mainly what we, uh, we ask ourselves, uh, do we have a saddle specifically for that, set, for that bike? Mm -hmm. And the other one was, do the e-bike needs a specific one? because probably, of course, it's completely different in the way how you're moving in the city, mm -hmm. but maybe you're sitting in the same bicycle is really near to the standard one. Mm -hmm. So first, that was the first question. And according to this, we made a panel of consumer, studying the consumer, we decided to uh, partners with Design Works, and that is uh, the, the research and design studio of BMW, owned by BMW, mm -hmm. that they are based in Munich, mm -hmm. because German market is our main market, so it's where we have to study our consumer. Mm -hmm. Is from where all the trends are coming then and spread around the world. How big was that panel? It was quite big mm -hmm. because we have hundreds and hundreds of people, uh -huh. and there were different type of consumer. Okay. People that start to use the bike, and they are not using the bicycle at all mm -hmm. during their daytime. But why is that such an uh, interesting type of consumer? Because they're not experienced. They're not experienced in the bicycle, but they're entering in the category. So they are using now the bicycle due to the new e-mobility, due to the new e-bike system. Mm -hmm. Before they're just was taking the tram to go to work, they're taking their own car. Then they understand with the e-bike, they can make really longer trip mm -hmm. without thinking about the traffic jam, without thinking about the expense of energy to arrive to work, mm -hmm. without thinking the fact that they don't have shower probably at work <laughs> in the workplace. So the e-bike also attract people that are not in our category, that are not before our consumers. Mm -hmm. On the other side, we had people that had the city bike and decide to move into new category. 
So that was really important study that take place in Munich in uh, the design work studios to analyze the use of the of uh, the bicycle that they are doing. So they arrive in their own studio. Of course, there was a week of panel, and they arrive in the studio with their bicycle mm. because we want them to express themselves. They want we want them to really explain why and how they are using different things and how they are using their e-bike. Mm. This permit has then to make the second study that was to understand if the different use of e-bikes in the urban area has something, uh, I mean, uh, has a, a different, they need something different in terms of comfort, in terms of shape of the saddle, in terms of structure of the saddle. Mainly, we understood uh, some aspect that then help us to bring uh, the design of the new product and the function of the product. So mm -hmm. mainly what we, we call here the future of the product is exactly the satisfaction of the needs that we discover mm -hmm. and uh, uh, something that we understood just uh, making them try the product. And so uh, we discover, for example, uh, on the e-bike, you're sitting more and more on the saddle. So we decided to make this what we call e-fit design to mm -hmm. have uh, uh, a duck tail on the back part of the saddle to support better and we made some flexibility part mm -hmm. due to the acceleration what we call uh, the acceleration of the e-bike mm -hmm. because every kind of uh, power when you're shifting from one level to another give you a little bit of pushing back uh, yeah. so we have to absorb this pushback mm -hmm. but also press uh, and uh, distribute the pressure on it so this is the reason why on the lateral side has this geometry to really support your legs mm -hmm. and on the other side of course a flexible one due uh, to this special future to this flexibility that we give can to I, the show. Can I feel it? <laughs> yeah sure. <laughs> so, so this here, geometry yeah. in order to support your leg mm -hmm. during the acceleration of it. Yeah. On the other side what we have done is special rubber injection oh, yeah. on the back and also on here I see, yeah. Yeah, the blue one. Mm -hmm. And in order to, of course, give the support but absorb the pressure and distribute in a ah, flexible yes. way. It's actually exactly. very flexible. It's not hard. No. Why? Because what we discover, if we make this geometry, but very hard, mm -hmm. what also if here is softer, on the lateral side, if the shell is completely hard, mm -hmm. what is happening? That there you have a peak of pressure. And so this causes discomfort to the consumer. I can imagine that um, um, when you're riding for a very long time in the saddle, uh, this is uh, yeah gonna be very painful but how big is the effect if you're only riding for like 30 minutes in this area but if you're talking already 30 minutes is something is the standard time from when you start to feel the pain <laughs> so really? actually my 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 uh, I mean my question was quite a kind of is that one? Out, yeah, on. yeah. Normally, what, what we have defined is that after thirty minutes, you start to really feel if a saddle is not comfortable mm -hmm. or is right the right one for you, and if you are riding in the right way. So, I mean, this is something that is not just for the e zone. It's something what we are doing in all our product plans and product development in mm -hmm. order to really, first of all, understand if we really need something particular. Mm. This is the main question because it could be very easy to just launch a product and send e-bike specific. Yeah. This is marketing and this is another story. Mm. Our, our aim is not to just uh, arrive to the consumer with something new that mm. is in line with the bike they have. We want to arrive in the, in the market to have the right product for the use that they are doing with their bike. This is fundamental and is literally a culture in our group. Mm. for seller oil brand but as well for all the brands of our group you mentioned that um, when people are riding e-bikes <coughs> they're sitting more in the saddle than riding conventional yeah. bikes why is that uh, for example when you stop with your standard bike mm -hmm. right and you have them to restart when you stop it you're going down to the bike mm -hmm. I'm talking now to the city use of the bike yeah, of yeah. course in okay. the urban area you're just stopping and you are going down mm -hmm. why because then to restart is more easy because you have all your weight on one pedal to push and restart yeah in the e-bike you don't need any more this you just put one leg of the bike mm -hmm. on the ground mm -hmm. and then when you start pedaling there is the power the motor power that help you to restart so you don't have to put so all your body weight into exactly the so this is what 
we have discovered that they are sitting more and more on bike. Mm -hmm. Then, of course, there is also another thing that they are making more kilometers. Mm -hmm. This is more in the trekking area when they are going in the weekend with the family. Mm -hmm. Of course, with their bike, they can make more kilometers in comparison with before with their standard bike mm -hmm. due to the effort that they are pushing on yeah. it, they are putting on it. You are, um, this, this, this saddle is, is for, for city bikes and, and mainly, yeah, mainly, yeah. And, but we also see e-mountain biking coming up and Eve road bikes even, um, how does Saddle Royale or the, the, the other brands under Saddle Royale uh, respond to <coughs> that? Because I can imagine an e-zone type of saddle also for those kind of bikes. Yes, for sure. Uh, we are working on very hardly mm -hmm. uh, because we decided to uh, the Saddle Royale brand as the, let's say, more recreational uh, uh, brand of the group uh, mm -hmm. uh, will be focused more and more in the urban and city area as well the let's say uh, Light sport uh, when we are talking for example trekking mm. Seller oil is on the trekking bikes as well. So until there Seller oil will uh, develop uh, new and new products uh, regarding for the e-bike mm -hmm. But as well all our brands in the group uh, like physique Craig brothers are working in that direction because mm -hmm. We understood that e-bike will not be just a trend that mm -hmm. goes up mm -hmm. and then uh, fail down. They will be a part of our market. This is for sure. And the future, they will be that part. Mm -hmm. Then it's only a question. Does your brand want to take that part and be successful in that part? This is, uh, of course, a question that we already answered and we decided that each brand will have, uh, let's say, according to the different target consumer, mm -hmm. will have the answer to that market. Mm -mm. So this is the reason why we are putting a huge investment on that direction. How do you see the, the future of, of cycling mm -hmm. and even mobility in a, in, a, in a more general sense? Because we at Bike will think that eventually we don't have cars, we don't have bicycles anymore. We have mobility, mobility solutions in all kinds of ways and, 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 and shapes and sizes. What, how do you as Cello Royale look, look at that? Uh, we're looking so deep because I think that in the last two years uh, our industry changed a lot mm -hmm. uh, due to a new way of mobility as they bike and we agree on the fact that we'll change even more in the future, in the next future. We had also the possibility to look at some very interesting project that BMW is doing in this sense due to the fact that we cooperate in this project with uh, with the first uh, e-bike saddle mm -hmm. but this gives also the possibility to get in touch with also their plans about the mobility that is uh, uh, more in line with also your vision to say probably they will be not uh, anymore car uh, bicycle and uh, other instruments there will be only one way or different instrument that mm -hmm. are all connected to give you the best service in terms of mobility. Mm -hmm. uh, think about all the other services around us has changed dramatically in the last uh, 50 years due to digitalization and other things. Yeah. Uh, so for sure, I mean, we have to play the question and uh, to ourselves to ask, mm -hmm. how will be the mobility? And let's start to think about this because this will be, uh, when we are talking about brand, we have uh, to look uh, and ask ourselves what will be in five years, in 10 years. Exactly. Not thinking just what is happening now. This is already the past. Trying to move and keep on moving and staying ahead. We see that change uh, as well at Eurobike here. They're also trying to look at the future and what will be tomorrow. Um, for instance, they changed the date from, uh, from end of August to beginning of July. They changed their look and feel. They exclude the consumer's day. What is your take on, on those changes? I think that from uh, our group uh, perspective, the, the, the approach of Eurobike changed a lot in the last uh, three years because at the beginning uh, was mainly an event for us uh, that uh, uh, take both channels, so aftermarket and as well OEM. Mm -hmm. So where we were focusing in making uh, a distributors meeting for the aftermarket and product manager meeting for OEM channel. Uh, then two years ago we decided to uh, start a new project so have it for all the group uh, to have uh, our own event uh, mm -hmm. uh, in Italy uh, now but in the future could be 
uh, somewhere else mm -hmm. uh, to really invite and make our distributor experience all uh, our brands uh, in, in the best way really. This is uh, the way that we decided to involve them uh, and uh, understanding not only what is the, new, the novelty of this year, but mm -hmm. really to get in touch with the brand people, get in touch with the, uh, our project that we are supporting uh, in order to really go inside the brand because only this is uh, uh, giving them uh, um, the capability to bring our brands uh, into the market to the end consumer. So this is from one side. So uh, mm -hmm. until now, in the last two years, uh, we um, we are. It's important for us to be here uh, with our group brand uh, uh, booth for uh, mainly OEM reason. Mm -hmm. So to really present to all our product manager uh, of all. Uh, um, the bicycle company uh, novelties of different brands. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you are you were talking about OEM. Yeah, OEM, exactly. So I can imagine it's it's very important for you to also have this consumer day. Of course. So. Mm -hmm. Um, time is almost running out, unfortunately. So I have saved the easiest question. I would say for last, if you could change the industry yourself, how would you do that? Do you want to answer to this? <laughs> <laughs> That's an easy question. Well, um, uh, I am thinking about the challenges that we have, uh, especially from a marketing point of view, mm -hmm. to really communicate our product. So, um, in uh, the ideal world of Seller Royal, um, I would love uh, consumers to pay more attention to uh, the components and accessories that are, can be part of a bicycle. Mm -hmm. So instead of uh, buying the, the full package, the full product, now that consumers uh, uh, want more and more specific uh, products and specific things that uh, are really suitable for themselves, customized product mm -hmm. or uh, they are really looking at what can meet their needs. Um, I would like them to be uh, more sensitive in this sense, so to, uh, to really make sure that they can enjoy their riding experience fully with each single part of their bicycle. This is, yeah, this is a great answer and uh, something else pops into my mind, so it's not the last question. <laughs> um, because you're saying personal mobility solutions, that's what you're actually saying, right? What, what is your take on that? Do you see someone taking their cellar rail saddle to, to a shared bike, for instance, and put it on? What, what is your take <laughs> on personal e-mobility solutions? We are working on that. Um, I mean, uh, I think that uh, especially for a brand as Seller Royal, that at the end of the day is a one of, uh, is a component from one side, but is a final product at all. Uh, it's very important to work in the direction of uh, feeling the consumer to have uh, uh, their own uh, uh, saddle, their own components, because a part of uh, some components in terms of performance, the saddle is the most important one in terms of uh, really make you enjoying the ride mm -hmm. or not. It because can be if, pain, if you yes. are thinking exactly about pain, you're not enjoying the landscape, you're not enjoying the beautiful view, you're not enjoying the day with your family maybe mm -hmm. on a ride. So it's the most important. And according to the personalization and to the fact that the people will arrive, as you said, on the bike chain with their own saddles, mm -hmm. this is something that you have to stay tuned regarding saddles. <laughs> so let's, let's have an update maybe in, uh, in, a, in one year or a couple of months. Let's do that. Let's, let's talk about this and how we uh, develop ever since, since now. And let's do that. It will be great to share with you when, uh, when it's coming. I'm happy to hear <laughs> it when it comes. Thank you so much for making time. Thanks Thank to you. Fine.